through space program, leaping forward into the cosmos. Since the dawn of Kerbal Kain, we have looked to the sky and wondered what sublime mysteries lie hidden in the darkness, like jewels never beheld. These untold treasures may soon reveal themselves due to the efforts of recently founded Kerbal Space Program. Oh my! I think that might have been the only copy of the orientation film. Hold on! Slides! Uh, somewhere! Ahem! <clears throat> Welcome to your first day running the Kerbal Space Program. This campus hosts the greatest ever gathering of astronomers, astronauts, and engineers. After years of focused effort, this collection of geniuses has created several very impressive buildings. We believe we have all the necessary pieces to take our first steps off the ground. The best way to advance our technologies further is to get up there and learn by doing. All we need now is somebody to show us how to put all these parts together. Well, we also need somebody to help us out with the flying. We need a lot of help, actually. That's why you're here. My name is Paige, by the way. If you need any hints, feel free to visit me over at the training center. Everything in there is well padded, so it's a great place to get up and running. Welcome aboard! Space is the place. Build, launch, stage and land a rocket in a suborbital flight to learn the fundamentals. We all have to start somewhere. Okay, das kann ich eigentlich alles schon, aber egal. Space is the place. So you want to get to space. Have you tried rockets? Rockets use fuel and engines to create thrust, which propels them forward. When a fuel tank is empty, it is dropped to stay as lightweight as possible, allowing the rocket to go even faster. These tanks, as well as other expendable parts of a rocket, are called stages. Different stages do different things. Often the first stage is very powerful, with just enough fuel to get the vehicle through the atmosphere. The second stage usually has a low thrust engine that, while not as powerful, is more fuel efficient. After dropping the heavier first stage and leaving the atmosphere, the second stage engine pushes the much lighter second stage to orbital speed. Hmm. Okay. Danke dafür. On a flight to space, the final stage parachutes back down to the surface, ideally in one piece. Ja, da muss er jetzt auch nicht jumpen. Hm? Okay, die ist weg. <lacht> Tutorial complete, dann next. Also für Anfänger sehr geeignet, finde ich sehr cool. Welcome to the Launchpad. As you embark on your journey into rocketry, it's important to get all the crashing out of your system here in the simulator. It really cuts down on the awkward phone calls. Today you'll be launching into the virtual skies over KSC, where you'll learn how to control a rocket. Well, it sieht auch sehr virtual aus, tatsächlich. Let's learn how to rotate the flight camera. That way, you can see the launch from your favorite angle. Okay. Great. You can also zoom the camera in and out. Nice. Go ahead and pick your favorite view for this launch. That's it. Your rocket is ready for launch. Every good launch starts with a big green button and lots of fire. Most bad launches do too, actually. Okay. Yeah, we're launching. <laughs> Looking good. Ascend to 1,000 meters, and then we'll learn some controls. Okay. Also bei 1000 wird's hoffentlich pausiert. Okay, you're a kilometer up. 
You can still crash, but you'll have more time to correct your course if you start pointing at the ground. Let's learn some rocket controls. Äh, was meinst du, die, diese Anzeige hier? Das ist, sind die G-Kräfte. Die waren vorher alles im Nachbau vereint, den man jetzt hier nicht richtig sieht. Ähm, let's learn some rocket controls. Back to it. Also, ja, gut, ich kann das eigentlich alles schon, aber ich wollte es euch mal zeigen. So, continue. When flying a rocket or a plane, we have specific terms for moving. Pitch tilts your rocket's nose up and down. Ja. Downward. How, how far? Komplett runter. You crazy. Nice pitch. Now pitch up. Let's move on. Yaw steers your rocket left and right. Try it now. Now yaw to the left to straighten up. Excellent. Now for the final control. Roll rotates your rocket clockwise and counterclockwise. Try it now. I know. That's the basics of rocket flight. Feel free to experiment with the controls. We can move on when you're ready. Yeah, okay, also für mich nichts Neues, aber sehr cool, dass man da drin sitzen sieht. So, next tutorial. Okay, aber dann fliege ich doch noch ein bisschen hier rum. Haben wir unbegrenzt? Nee, ist gleich vorbei. Alles klar, komm. Let's do this. Eww. Okay, wir haben sehr viel Geschwindigkeit aufgebaut. Obviously. Und sie hat Spaß da drin. Das ist auch ganz wichtig. Okay, nächste Tutorial Step. <lacht> nee, nee, die G-Kräfte hatten wir früher schon. Ich weiß nicht, ich denke mal, dass die da irgendwann dann auch das Bewusstsein verlieren oder so. Das kann sein. War im anderen, im Original, also im ersten Teil auch nicht so. Also, keine Ahnung. Ah. Okay, sounds good to me. A simple rocket requires four crucial components. A command module, fuel tank, engine and parachute. Ja. Let's start by learning how to add a command module. Okay. Oh, Mann, also das ist echt lostens. A command module allows us to control our vessel. As long as there is at least one command module on board, our rocket will be operational. This rocket will use a command pod, which can be manned by a Kerbal and is located in the pods category. Or multiple Kerbals. It all depends on the crew capacity of the part. Okay. For great! It doesn't look like much, but it's a promising start. The next thing our rocket needs is a fuel tank. Fuel, or propellant, is an expendable resource used to power our vessels. Without fuel, we won't be going anywhere, let alone space. Let's look at the small fuel tanks. Habe ich auch schon gesagt, die fehlen hier tatsächlich. How about that one? Rocketry Weekly calls it good enough. <laughs> How exciting. Good enough, it is. The part is once again attached to your cursor. If you place your cursor near the bottom of your command pod, you'll see it snap into place. Then left click to attach it. Now that's beginning to look like a rocket. Well, almost. We need an engine. Here at the KSP, we have four different types of engines. Launcher, sustainer, orbital, and deep space engines. Mm -hmm. That's true. To break free of Kerbin's soupy atmosphere, we want either a launcher or sustainer engine. I personally like sustainers. What can I say? They keep me going. Now let's add the sustainer engine to the fuel tank. Excellent! Our rocket is looking pretty great. We just need one final touch. As is, our rocket can absolutely take flight. But if we want our pilot to survive the landing, we need to attach a parachute to the top of their command pod. Kai. Our one Kerbal rocket doesn't weigh much, so we only need an extra small parachute. Let's go with that one. Now all we need to do is put it on top of the command pod. Is klar. Do as much good on the bottom. Congratulations! You've just built a rocket. Are you sure you haven't done this before? Oh, I'm sure I have done this before a lot. <laughs> Page, thanks. Aber schön gemacht. Wirklich, muss man sagen, für Einsteiger 
Sehr geil. Gucken wir mal, wie weit uns dieses Tutorial bringt. As you start to build rockets, you will want to see your designs from other angles. Let's learn how to manipulate the camera inside the vehicle assembly building. You sure about that? First, let's rotate the camera. Nice. Now let's zoom the camera in and out. Great. Now let's pan the camera up and down. Good. Das ist neu. You can also focus your camera at a specific part. If you want to view your rocket from the top, front or sides, switch to blueprint mode. You can If you ever get lost in the VAB, you can always reset the camera. Uh. The home key is this the stair? Oh, yeah. Nice. Now you can get at those hard to reach parts of your rocket. Okay. Das ist cool. Ah. So kann ich das fokussieren, okay? Yay. Das war's. Ja, nice. Aber danke für dieses Tutorial. I liked that. Weil da waren ein paar neue Sachen dabei. Paging Jeb and Well, okay. Your rocket's ready. Let's take it out for a little hop. Oh, giddy do giddy. Let's move this rocket to a launch pad. Okay. Da könnte ich ein Launchpad aussuchen, aber wir bleiben bei dem. Welcome to the launch pad. Today you'll be flying straight up. Your rocket should do fine without any steering inputs. But if things get out of line somehow, feel free to intervene. Okay. Starten Sie, Mel. Wo Countdown? Ja, das ist aber schön gemacht. Also auch diese Start, sehr cool mit dem Wasser und hin und her. Und es sieht halt schon sehr awesome, sehr awesome. I like it. Gut, ist gleich vorbei. Was dann? You've cleared the launch tower and your flight is underway. Let's learn about staging. Rockets are constructed in sections called stages. Each stage is designed for a different part of a mission. When a stage completes its job, it's dropped to shed weight. Okay, logisch, danke. On your right, you'll find the staging stack. It displays all of the functions contained in each stage. Mm -hmm. Every time you select the go button, you'll activate a new stage, starting from the bottom of the stack. Ja, auch das logisch, danke. Aber cool. Each stage's fuel supply is shown on a bar next to the stage. Your active stage, stage 1, still has a little fuel in it. When it goes dry, you'll drop that stage by selecting go. <sighs> uh, das würde ich gerne mal jemanden vorsetzen, der noch nie KSP gespielt hat. Ich glaube, das ist ziemlich geil zum Lernen. Das musste ich mir alles damals selber beibringen. No tutorials at all. Your first stage is out of fuel and all it is doing is slowing you down. To drop that weight, you're going to activate your next stage. That will activate a decoupler, which will drop your empty stage. It will also activate your next engine. Yeah. Once you activate a stage, there's no going back. Danke. Also, das ist hier zusammengefasst, logisch. Ready? Hit go to lose that mass. Me so ready. Wo fliegen wir eigentlich hin? Well. Ah, die kriegt ein paar G-Kräfte. Ab hier wird's kritisch, aber das reicht noch. Okay. Activate the next stage to separate those tanks. Your capsule will now continue coasting up. All that's left to do is gaze back down at Kerbin and wonder if you remember to lock your car. Nice work. Okay. 